Let me get my camera together. I know I have technical difficulties. I feel like, you know, I, I'm, I do property management at a senior building, and they all come to me um, regarding their technical needs, but I feel like I need somebody else to help me. So it's kind of funny. Um, but that they that they choose me and I feel like I need help. Hi. Me and my daughter watched a show called Haters Back Off. <laughs> it's about this girl who swears she's the bomb and she's horrible. Hi guys, my name's Miranda. Miranda sings, it's hilarious. Anyways, um, it is your intoxicating bartender today. And I last week gave you guys a live review and I had children in the background so I couldn't really do my thing the way I normally do but don't fret I'm here all right so in honor of National Wine Day last week I gave you all a choice I told you all that you could choose either New Zealand or you all could choose um Italy for a wine um review and majority of you all chose Italy so I went ahead and did the Italy review um, but today I couldn't let it go to waste so I have saved the New Zealand wine for those of you all who asked uh, this is Oyster Bay um, it is a Sauvignon Blanc and Sauvignon Blancs are not sweet wines i'm so sorry for you sweet wine drinkers i have to find one for you all soon but this sauvignon blanc is um one that caught my eye while i was um in benny's shopping for something else and they had a promoter there and i tasted this and actually i was shocked how much i liked it so it was nine dollars and 99 cents it was on sale. I don't think it goes above $11.99. So that's phenomenal. Um, it is a product of New Zealand. It is 12.5% alcohol. For $9.99, that's great. All right. Um, it says that Oyster Bay captures the special character of New Zealand's cool climate, viticulture, elegant, assertive wines with glorious fruit flavors. All righty. Um, Imported wine for nine ninety nine. You can't go bad with that. Oh, here you can see their their little seal right there. It says just that. All right. So this is a twist cap, which everybody thinks so oh, it's twist cap. Don't drink it. Mm -hmm. Don't let them fool you. I've gotten twenty dollar wines with a twist cap, um, and of course, you know that is not super expensive. But compared to nine ninety nine, here we are. This is going to be a drier wine, ladies and gentlemen of the grand jury. I have my wine, my stemless wine glass. I'm gonna pour a little bit there. I mean, look how clear that is. Okay. Um, the tasting notes state that it is a tropical and lime citrus with zesty freshness um, one of my favorite I'm not a big Cooper Hawk fan but one of my favorite is passion fruit their passion fruit wine it's only seasonal this reminds me when you smell it of passion fruit I definitely smell that and it smells so good so it's not gonna be sweet it's gonna have like this kind of zesty flavor like it's gonna play around in your mouth it's gonna make you be like what is that it's it's gonna make you want to sip it again because it's just a flavor that you we don't experience often passion fruit is not that popular in the United States mm, very clean very crisp very fruit forward not super dry um, if you're switching from Moscato's, mm, no, I'm lying. If Riesling is getting too sweet for you, try Sauvignon Blanc. This is a good fruit forward wine to try. So this New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, it's a light body. Look at that. The legs barely do anything. Can you see that? You see it falls right back down the glass. Those are called legs. Okay. Very light body. Look at it. Very beautiful color, very crisp, very fruit forward, but still yet dry. Great find. It's not as dry as a Chardonnay. 
I'd say, and it's much more fruity than a Pinot Grigio. Because Pinot Grigios don't take... This is a really good Sauvignon Blanc. Very proud of this product for $9.99. Definitely would buy it. I'd get a couple bottles and take it to a party. I'd be happy to stand behind it. Oyster Bay, Sauvignon Blanc. Um, What else is there to tell you? I don't know. Nothing else, really. Um, So... Uh, that is that. Oh, um, go get it. Have a wonderful week, you all. Um, and actually, in comparison to the Italian, I actually like this one better. The Italian was a lot drier, even though I like dry wines. This has a lot more fruit for it, and I really like that. So, I'm gonna pour myself a glass and cheers. Don't forget to visit www.intoxicatingtastings.net. Don't forget to like and share our Facebook page, Intoxicating Tastings. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we can't do this without you, but we look forward to intoxicating you soon. We just need your help. Have a wonderful week. Bye.